Hello and welcome back to the Hard West. We are in the middle of Warren's uh, personal campaign, his vendetta, and our next job is to rob a bank. We waited uh, for that moment a long, long time. We're going to be the bad guy this time, and we have outfitted our squad quite well. Got some nice cards, got some nice equipment, and soon we're going to have some more money. Regardless if the, the merchants are going to raise their prices by 10%, we are going to ignore that. All right, here we go. These were going about their business. They weren't expecting you. Destroy the telegraph, open the jail door, kill 100 people. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Let's find out where the targets are. Oh, nice. There seems to be someone in the jail. We might be able to recruit him. And there's uh, the telegraph. Okie dokie. So, Old Man Murray, with his increased movement speed, will now be the runner of the team. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. The burly man they called the child eater greeted you with a nod. He had heard of you. So we're moving in. Telegraph is right over there. Let's subdue this guy. There we go, stick him up, buddy. And stick him up. Good boy. An honorable man in his own way. He resolved to return the favor. <laughs> oh, nice. Look at that weapon. Oh, my gosh. Nine damage. Oh, wow. That weapon is awesome. One damage for every, uh, every barrel that the weapon has. With the device violently dismantled, the demon troop was delayed. So we just need to get everyone in a decent position. I could see how... There's maybe someone upstairs. So what's a good position? Probably we're going to see a lot of enemies from here, which means we might want to position ourselves right here. And we know that there's someone back here as well. So it's either going to be like a position right in the streets, making sure that we're not being flanked from the back. This here would give us so many shooting angles, like we can 
cover the whole street. It's half cover into this direction, full cover into this direction. There's not going to be anyone from here. Not the worst position. We know that there is no one down here. And there's almost no flanking angle through, well, maybe through this window. So could we could position ourselves here. Well, that's one option. The other option is to start over here and kill this guy. Not sure, I think we're going to be better off uh, executing both of these gentlemen. All right, next turn is go, is go time. We're going to start over here. Telegraph station is clear again. Oh my god. So much damage. Nine damage. We're leading with five damage. Weapon switch. And we're continuing with eight damage. I think it's not a bad idea to to get upstairs. The bell rang. The first note, the signal that would summon the demons, has been struck. Okay, so let's see if we can invade the bank. I'm pretty sure that there is no one down here because the map already ends. Moving up to get some better angles. And giving ourselves a random prayer. Oh wow, we even had two uh, action units. I probably shouldn't have done that because I could have killed him just with uh, uh, f with fanning. Alright, let's, let's reload. I think there are only a couple of them inside of the bank. Not even sure where the demon arrives. But he certainly has a terrible voice. Alright, open the safe, and we know one more turn until the demon arrives. Well, that's going to be fun.
So, we got everyone down. I think the demon will arrive now. Upon the sight of the fiends, even the sun averted its gaze. And that's about it. One guy with nine hit points. And you're shitting your pants, seriously? He has a nice little sh a little spread here. Look at that. Three demons. And we're going to shoot them with a shotgun. Very, very good. Yeah, so two out of three are dead immediately. Your pockets brimming with wealth, you set out to leave. Kill all hostiles to escape. Well, that won't be a problem. I think we intended to do that anyways. So, let's try to kill him. Drain his luck. There we go. With all adversaries dead at your feet, you left. Again, a pretty simple shootout. I think the further you get into the campaign with all of the uh, relics and the special weapons, the easier it gets. While you were looting the town, you still encountered many people. You killed everyone regardless of age and gender. And we're now up to 108 people. You killed them all, every single person. By your hand and by the device of the settlement ceased to exist. The re reward on your head attracted bounty hunters from far off places. Let them. It was their funeral. Still, any time you uh, went anywhere now, it seems they were more enemies to contend with. The stranger showed up um, uh, right uh, on cue, congratulated you on your job well done, and he offered you a boon for your choosing. You asked for elite skills. You began to make quite a name for yourself. Oh boy, look at that. That's what I call some elite skills. Hell yeah! Oh my gosh, we have the full option to to use whatever we want. Bingo. It's go time, baby. Oh my lord. 
Well, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> I really, really like that. Let's start with the sniper, shall we? So, golden shot. Love it. Little bit of extra aim. Never hurts. And we got Ricochet. So he already has plus 15 aim on top of it. And with five of a kind, he has plus two damage, which is just awesome. It's a nice little bonus. I'm thinking about whether or not uh, we want to get a similar uh, bonus or if, you, if we want to stick with um, straight flushes. I mean, five of a kind is a really, really good bonus. You know what? By thinking about it, Let's just use the two cards for now. That's the core of a sniper build, and I think we're going to go with Royal Flush. I also like the idea of the five nines. That's just a very hard to kill. Um, a very hard to kill character. Like if we were to go for this build here, we would end up with 14 hit points. Uh, we could exchange hit points, get extra hit points. That's pretty, pretty impressive. And for our sniper, we could indeed choose uh, the full house, which is giving him extra luck. The crippling shot is supreme for the sniper. The other alternative is shoot all enemies in sequence. Uh, like this uh, face off is very, very strong as well. So we can either go for a face off or we can go for the uh, uh, for the um, for the extra luck. The side is okay, and I like the shoot all enemies in 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 your side because it just deals a lot of damage. But I think we're going to go with full house. Well, it's plus forty movement and thirty luck, so he caps out at two hundred luck and has a very decent aim of uh, 65 on top of it without even uh, sweating yeah and for the others i think we're just going royal flush which is three extra hit points and a couple of really nice uh, abilities. We left out Smell of Blood, Shadow Kill, I don't like that too much. Chain Kill and, uh, and Killing Spree is pretty good. These, uh, these two here um, could uh, make for some really, really nice damage. Oh, he only has four. Well, that changes the story a little bit. That changes the story a little bit. He only has four, which means... We might as well go with two pairs.
and give him the face off bonus. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah. I think that's a good setup. I like it. I'm not sure if we can even be busted with that setup. It would require a very, very strong opposition to even kill us now. So we're fine on cash as well. Let's get the snake uh, boots. Let's get a can uh, cannon cavera. Just for good measure. Well, that's okay. I think we're done here. Like I said, I wanted to trade the Doomsday Watch for the Snake Leather Boots, which gives him enough movement. 13 hit points is still very, very good. Might want to um, uh, change the Chain Rifle for something that deals more damage. I was maybe thinking about we're, we're giving him a true sniper. That wouldn't be the worst idea. I think. The trader doesn't have that, right? No. He doesn't. We have an elephant rifle here that's 5 damage, which is the closest one that you could get to a true sniper. But there are certainly better weapons than that. For instance, the Cannon Calera, which already deals more damage than that. So we're giving him the Doomsday Watch, which means he can de dish out up to 11 damage with uh, his uh, Baby Number 9. And Baby Number 9 plus the Face Off ability here, the Kings of Spade Barrage ability, uh, can, can deal some very, very serious damage. 11 hit points against everyone inside. Oh boy. That's gonna be fun. Good. I think the only um, task done, uh, left open, is to raid his house. Oh, wait a second. Masked Man's Homestead. Um, you burned down the house. Uh, with uh, everything and everyone inside. You circled the house, burying the exits, and smashed every oil lamp you found, undetected. You lit it with a cigarette, enjoying the tickle of the smoke through the holes in your face. When it dwindled, uh, you f uh, flinked it, a tiny coal arcing through the pitch. A moment later, the house, w uh, the house was bright with merry flames. The screams of uh, those being burned alive filled the night like a symphony occasionally interrupted by suicidal gunshots. Terror spread through the land. Many shop owners would just leave town, closing their shops Eventually, for good. Eventually, people fled in abject fear simply upon hearing your name. I blew up the entire, ma uh, 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 the entire mine. You, uh, you were injured uh, with the explosion, but it was worth it. The miner was completely destroyed. The masked man would be furious when he heard about that. Which means we're going to heal ourselves real quick. I think we're now up to 155,000 damage. Let's see what we can do with the sawmill. The old sawmill was no longer in use. It's a tall building fallen to wobbly uh, disrepair. 
uh, there uh, would be a lumberjack's tools inside, but you didn't know if you should press your luck. Well, let's go. You s we're successful in retrieving the tools, um, but it feels like your luck was running out. I do not care about that because currently I feel that we have the strongest, um, the strongest character that we had in a while. And let's do a bit of a bonus here since we're only 25 minutes in. We decide to attack immediately. No backing up now. Our characters are strong enough and I feel we can probably take on a little army. Let's go, baby. There were some armed oil workers on your way, but your eyes kept scouting for the masked man. Oh, hell yeah. Well, it's do or die now. Time to get this going. Good, we can already see two targets. Uh, the map ends here, which means I'm not terribly afraid to move up to there. We might want to uh, tackle the other side as well. And that's exactly what two of our finest uh, will do. Uh, I think we're going to be fine with actually only him checking over there. Old Man Murray. We could be flanked from behind here, so I'm just letting him stay where he is currently. Let's use our first shot. Missed, that's okay. There we go, one down. Two down. And we already know that there's one more person there. So let's give ourselves a little prayer. We increased our movement speed. That's fine. Which means we could move up to here. We still have the golden bullet. We do have ricochet as well. And since the map ends here, I'm perfectly fine with moving into this cover. Gosh, let's not get too cocky. I feel with the increased power of all of the characters, it is very easy just to move in for the sake of moving in. Old Man Murray even takes a nice little charge here. Slowly but surely closing in. I want to wait until we until we have that shed here secured. If we press on, we can be easily flanked from here, and that wouldn't be the best idea. So might as well wait for now. Okay, we would have spotted if there would have been someone in the in that um, building. Which means we can slowly but surely move up. We know that someone's behind that building, that's okay. Well, we can't ricochet from any target. That's oh, too bad.
and let's end our turn. There is even a second person here. Moving up, mainly to scout. We know there is no one here. Well, we actually don't know that, so might as well be safer to not go there. We could move up to here. These here block direct line of sight, so we can't be flanked. Ooh, and that's a pretty, pretty nice flank overall. Gotcha, okay. We do not have 90 luck, so we can't barrage. Uh, barrage and it would only hit two people anyway so probably not worth it one more down that's fine. We're going to activate dodge because we will probably need it. I'm pretty sure they will try to hit on us. I'm taking half cover because dodge still offers the full dodge bonus even though I'm just in half cover. Like I said, they are most likely to focus on us now. One more down. This should be flanking. The doors of the house flew open. The masked man's best gun hands showed up. We're covering his flank by standing here. Moving further into the fight. Well, all right, so they are playing the game. How many targets could I theoretically hit at once? And it's a hell lot. We are in full cover. Again, there is most likely no one coming from this side. Not sure if we would see the target if we would move up to here. Again, most likely not. Let's finish him.
Gosh. If we had 90 luck. If we had 90 luck. Or 65. That would be interesting. But it is what it is, I think we're still fine. Let's try to kill as many of them as possible. Oh, did I trade out Golden Bullet? I'm stupid, I should have kept Golden Bullet. Because that is so effective against targets like behind high cover here. Good, I think only three, no, four more left over. That's good enough. What? Three damage into full cover? Wow, okay, well, you gotta do what you gotta do, getting full luck, depleting it immediately, oh no, really, wow, I should have fan fired. I figured she wouldn't have that much luck. Just wanted to kill her really fast. Because now that we do have zero luck, uh, we're definitely going to be hit once, at least, probably multiple times. There is no ricochet target in the whole stage, apparently. He was clever, he moved all of the objects that could be used for ricochet just off his range before we attacked. Pretty clever. You know what? Let's reload instead. Finally, masked man appeared. As good as dead. There we go, taking some damage because we ran out of luck. And there's the Masked Man, 15 hit points. That's a sweet position. He has full cover even from that side. Not too shabby, I like it.
Let's move over here. We're going to heal ourselves. Gosh, this guy still has luck. Let's deplete the luck of the mask, man. And kill the other guy, finally. Guess what, joke's on you. We're going to exchange hit points. Thank you for the hit points. A second we're going uh, we need to reload I was about to say we're going to deplete her luck and kill her it's probably not going to be enough no barely not enough This guy moves, he's going to die. That's what I call a decent shootout. Like we're standing here. But I'm surrounded from all of the sides. And we're picking his guards off one by one. We're going to use dodge again to our advantage. Let's reload and hit this guy. He's almost down. Well, he got 80 luck back. Oh my gosh. Good. So we're going to dodge these shots.
This here might be line of sight. Yes, it is. Perfect. So we're almost done with uh, dealing enough damage. Let's deplete his luck again. Next turn I think I can kill him. was a mistake buddy I think he just fucked up in the end the man who sported the mask now sported a big bloody hole in his forehead instead moving over flank this gentleman in your ear it wasn't over yet Florence's soul wasn't yet gone she was trapped in purgatory and could still be saved Ooh. well we certainly got our revenge that's for sure wow the campaign is getting more and more bloody look at that guys after finishing the fifth scenario we can now either go for in gold we trust a hot-blooded young adventurer hears fantastic tales of a lost city of gold and plots an expedition to the heart of the jungle unfathomable uh, wealth and eternal glory are within reach but what price is he willing to pay for it okay well, it seems to be yet another character i'm not sure why these ends here are loosely connected maybe it's their brother or whatever Oh, that's another adventure with the father, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be the grand finale. So we're going to go in Gold We Trust next, um, as a bit of a side story, then we play the father, and then we finish the whole campaign. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed uh, the scenario as good as dead, then give it a thumbs up. I liked it, and see you in the next run. Bye-bye.